right, guys, you're here with Barry, and I want to introduce you to a couple of uh, what have become really good friends over the last while. Uh, Jerry and Nancy, they're from the States, and um, they decided a while ago to make Cabrera their second home. And uh, I want to introduce you to Jerry and Nancy, and uh, gosh, guys, uh, how long has it been since we've known each other now? About two years. About two years? Yeah. One, we kind of met in a different way, not usually from one of the websites that I, I do, but uh, why don't you briefly describe how we met? And you want to? No, you go. Oh. Uh, well, we had been vacationing in Punta Cana for a couple of years and became familiar with the country a little bit through some tours through different hotels that we stayed at and came up here on a, with a friend that we had met in Punta Cana and brought us up this way and up to Puerto Plata to look at some properties and Las Terrenas to look at some properties that he mm -hmm. knew of. Mm -hmm. And then we went back to the capital and back to Punta Cana and went home and did some research, decided that we wanted to be in this particular area. Mm -hmm. We had seen some properties in El Breton. Mm -hmm. El Breton, yeah. yeah and really liked this particular area. So we did some research on the computers at home, decided that this is where we wanted to be. So I mentioned to a friend of mine whose daughter is our realtor in the States, and she knew a realtor in Puerto Plata. Mm -hmm. So she hooked us up with her. We flew down, met her. She had found Barry. I'm not real sure how, but she found Barry. So we came down to Cabrera and met with Barry and uh, the realtor went back to Puerto Plata, and we hung out with Barry. He showed us some properties, some houses, and some land, and we, that's how we met him. Not really through any other means, but a roundabout. <laughs> and it's been about two years now, and we've gotten over the, over the two years, uh, you know, quite a bit closer, obviously, with Leanne. But <clears throat> what is it that that actually brought you to this area was it uh, was it the uh, tranquility was it uh, what, what is it that because you've been around a little bit the country and well it was um, I for for me it was uh, the people they were very nice very nice people they were uh, hospitable it was clean they were very helpful you know even though we don't know Spanish but you're learning. Well, we're learning. Yes, we're learning. And the people were great, you know. Uh, and, and there wasn't a question that we could ask that they wouldn't try to answer. And, and uh, we always go, at least me, Nancy's more adventurous than uh, me. And so she would go, Paquito, you know, and they were like, oh, okay, you know, we'll help you out. But uh, very nice, uh, lovely area. What brought us here was the views. The beauty. Uh, the beauty, you know, the land, the people, that's, that's what... For you, traveling in foreign countries was a second because of your experience in the military uh, all the years. I know it was um, hard for Nancy initially. Eh? Can, you, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, uh, why and what and what caused you to change a little bit about it? Well, I was nervous about moving out of the country. Um, Jerry has been around different countries so he doesn't have that fear. I was an American. I thought you stayed in America. You retired in America. That's what you did. And so when he kept mentioning he wanted to retire on an island, I, I couldn't quite grasp that. The concept didn't work for me. And then after one of our trips when we were down in Punta Cana, Punta Cana um, I, I mentioned to him that I could retire here, and I thought he was going to jump out of the vehicle and jump for joy, and, which I seriously thought he was going to do that. But after that, I, I became more comfortable with the people, mostly the people and how kind and everybody was and helpful, and with Barry and Leanne helping us through it and Johnny and different people we've met through them. Um, I, do, I thought we could try that, we could do it. And the more and more I thought about it, the more it made sense. Our, we could retire in a much better fashion down here than we could in the United States. Although we're not retired yet, we're still working, but we will be retiring soon. And just the American dollar, what it can do for you down here as opposed to what it can do for you. You've in, noticed that. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, you know, we wanted to retire in a way that we wanted to live, and we can do that here. 
We, we, we could retire nicely in the United States, but down here it, it will be much better. I know that you're uh, in the process of building a beautiful house, and Jerry's going to give me more pictures. And this is, uh, guys, we're doing the film here. I originally wanted to do the shoot over at the house because it's coming along really well, but weather uh, just isn't going to allow it. So I'm going to do so, take some B-roll, and we're going to have that running through so you're not just watching three talking heads for 20 minutes. But um, can you, we initially gave you three or four, I can't remember, different names of builders that, that we knew. Correct. Now, we're not getting a kickback, and we're not involved in the building other than to try and just help. Well, you've been overseas during this construction for the greater part. Is that right, correct? Right. For nearly all of it. Nearly all of it. Right. Can you describe what your experiences have been with uh, the one you chose out of the names we gave you to consider? Oh, it's been great. It's been great. He, uh, uh, his name is uh, Donald. Mm -hmm. And uh, Donald, uh, every time there's a major part, almost weekly, he gives us pictures of the area and what they're doing. You know, if they're doing something important, like they're getting ready to... Uh, uh, pour the walls or put up the walls, you know, he'll show us before they do it so that we'll see the rebar and that it's done right. Mm -hmm. uh, that that was important to us. Um, uh, sometimes he sends us fun pictures like uh, the, the rainbow. With, uh, the rainbow, <laughs> yeah. Okay. From on the on the terrace, you know, there's a rainbow. It's like, ah, yes, this is great. So we, uh, I mean, we've had uh, some real good communication mm -hmm. with, with the builder, uh, which is important. You know, uh, ideas, what you want, what they're going to give you, is very important that you can come together about that. So it, it was, yeah, it's been fairly, fairly simple. You know. And Donald speaks good English. Three yes. out of the, yeah. I think it was four names I gave you, did speak good English. Right. right. Which obviously that's going to be important if, you're, right. if your native tongue is English and you haven't quite mastered Spanish yet. But um, how is it in terms of commencing, uh, which a lot of people are interested, at least our subscribers, about the time frame? Has it been honoring time frame and budget? Those are two very important. When we um, first talked to Donald about building the house, we had an idea of what we wanted. Um, a friend of ours, an architect in Arizona, had put together some of the ideas we had. And mm. so we came down with those plans, showed them to Donald. He kind of looked at them and said, let's go to the property. So we went out to the property, came back, he said, this won't work. And so, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> so he took those plans and modified them. The house is very, very similar to what we had originally designed in Arizona, and uh, it's not quite the, it's a straight house now, kind of a stretched house, and we had it kind of angled, but the angles that we had picked would not work with the prevailing winds and the breeze up there, so he, he modified that, which we're very glad for. Originally, I think we talked to him in August, maybe, July or August, I don't remember, came back down might have been earlier. It was in May. We talked to him in May. Mm -hmm. Came back down in October after we could get in here after the hurricane. Mm -hmm. um, noticed there was no damage to the city. Um, went up to the property. There was no damage on the property. That was great. And he had the design all done and said that he would start construction immediately. Mm -hmm. And said that it would be done within a year, which really surprised us. I didn't think you could build on the island within a year, the house that we're building. And then we came back down this month in February, and we're told it should be done in about June. So he is very much honoring the timeline. As far as budget, he keeps me in budget. He's he's my uh, he's my little uh, gauge. And if I see something I like, he looks at the price and what it is to see if it'll fit into the design. And if I can afford it in my budget, he tells me that's okay. And if I can't, he tells me not to touch it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and to walk away from it, which I do. Um, but he is very conscious of our budget. We are very conscious of our budget, and uh, it's a decent budget, but it's not huge. It's a small house by Donald's building standards, um, but uh, he's done a very good job, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Very happy with it. Very happy with where everything is going and what we're spending, and I think it will work out real well.
you've begun to notice in any country now, even with the limited amount of traveling, I, I know this is a gimme for, for you, mm -hmm. but uh, with your limited amount of traveling, it's not so much what you know is who you know in Absolutely. many cases. Absolutely. 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 We have met a lot of really good, nice people here who are well respected in the community, not only here, but in Santo Domingo, and but mostly here. Most everybody we met has been here. And just absolutely and very well respected people. Um, yeah, we've met lots and lots of friends through you. All, well, all now you're making your own on, on your right. own. Right. I think we introduced you to someone today. Yeah. <laughs> that yes. we had met. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, and he's from where was he? St. Martin. St. Martin. Saint Martin. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you know, this is what our concept always was was to try to make things as seamless mm -hmm. an adjustment as possible. And mm -hmm. we pretty much honored that to the to, to the best of our ability i know johnny's helped a lot oh yes i've helped a bit and even now you just came back from uh one of our buddies houses keiko right who mm -hmm. talking okay. about a little gardening and mm -hmm. what did he, he wanted to give you a what uh, oh he said he had an avocado tree that had the tree had blown down in the hurricane and it had an avocado on it so he planted it and it's a, a tree now it's starting to be a tree and he said we could take it today and we'd explain to him that we didn't have a place for it, so he would. He said he would put it in a bigger bucket so that we could get it in June. <laughs> now they're doing. Uh, they finished pouring the pool. Yes. Yes. And would you say you're around more or less 50 percent there, or a little more, a little less? Um, the structure of the house is up. All of the house. It's got the roof poured. The pool is poured. All the house. The block is up. They're starting the garage next week. Okay. Um, which will be a simple structure. You know. mm hmm Mm -hmm. um, they've started the stucco. Okay. Uh, the electrical is in. The plumbing is in. The rough electrical and rough plumbing are mm -hmm. in. Um, they're supposed to be starting stucco, weather permitting, yeah. <laughs> yeah. within the next uh, week or so. And uh, then after that, I I don't know what goes next. I'm we'll, assuming we'll, we'll get pictures. We'll get pictures. Week by week. <laughs> right. <laughs> but we have selected the the floors and the and things like that. So I imagine those will be coming in. So you can, from your own experience, say this is very doable, even from overseas, if you know the right people and you Absolutely. have people on your team. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Working and there in have your been, corner. And there have been times when I have freaked out about something and got on WhatsApp and screamed for Johnny and, and Barry <laughs> for help. And, you know, they've been right there to help us if any questions I've had or anything. You know, and, and it's, it's been great. About how big is this house in footage? Because uh, square footage? Yeah, twenty about 2,300 square feet, and that does include the terraces. That does include the terraces, yeah. yeah. Here, uh, they build uh, above pad. Right. So not, not, they don't only count what's under roof, they count the entire pad. Um, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you guys. I know um, old Barry screwed up on the audio. It happens to the best <laughs> of us where the battery ran out on our first video. But they were good enough to, to come on down. Um, I hate to ruin their Sunday, but it is kind of a lousy weather day. So, And uh, I just wanted to take a moment to personally thank you again the second time. <laughs> and I promise this won't happen again. It's no problem. It's no problem. Fine. We've and just been visiting people in between. We're getting yeah. ready to go and see some other friends, Randy and Don, and good. see if they're home, go see if Marie Jose is home. Good, we good. Say hi to some other people that we know. Uh, some from Barry, some from other things, other ways we've learned. We've stayed at uh, Randy and Don's one time. Sure. And so we met them and some of their friends. Excellent. And so, you know, we have, we're getting quite a little group of uh, friends down here, including the ones we met this morning up at the mm -hmm. property. Yeah. Who just moved down It's here. nice, though, mm -hmm. kind of having a group waiting for you. It is. Before. It is very nice. And to That's know that That's part of what I mean, seamless. That right. really helps right. a lot. And we feel like family when we get here. We know Reme, we... You know, we know the people who work at the, the hotel, the apartment. We come into town. We go into the bank. We know our banker. He recognizes us. I can call him anytime. Ricky? Ricky. Yeah, Ricky. Yeah. Ricky. Yeah. Ricky. Yeah. We know Ricky real well. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I've called him many times just to ask questions, just to check on accounts, things like that. We do have accounts here. Mm -hmm. And uh, having gone through residency program and gotten all that taken care of. <clears throat> so, But we come into town, and it's we feel like it's home. Beautiful. We, we rec people even at this store, our Garcias are at the garden. For One last lunch. thing, and I'm, I'm going to stop bugging you here, but 
what can you tell people from your experience, because we met two years ago, not so much about us guys, but about people that are on the fence post and wondering, can they do something like this, or is it a dream, it's crazy, and, and, and what can, what, now that you've got experience and you're doing it and it's working out well on budget and you're happy and you love, what can you tell people that are afraid to get out of their comfort zone? Is there anything you could say to them? It's a tough question. I would say just do it. Just come down and see what you, you know, come down wherever, if it's here or wherever. I mean, come down and see what the country's like and, you know, with me, and this is maybe silly, but... I always have a feeling about things, and if I, it doesn't feel right, I don't do it. If I do something and then I don't feel good about it, I stop it. I put a stop to it, and I've not had that feeling here at all. It's all felt right. It's all felt that we should do it, and you know, wherever you want to have that lead, I don't know. It's, I'm not that type of person, but I, you know. Come down, visit, take a look. I think that anybody that comes here is going to stay or want to stay, at least come back on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah it, it, no place, I always say no places for everybody. Some right. like big cities, some like quiet towns, and, and everything like that. But from your experience now, you can honestly say this is very doable if you want to. Absolutely. Very doable. Absolutely. Not a problem. We have not run into, now there's been a few little snags here and there on different crazy things that they're just going to happen no matter where you go mm -hmm. but no it's been very positive very easy very well to use barry's word very seamless seamless just, yeah. Yeah. it really has been i think so nancy and jerry thanks thanks a lot i, I really appreciate it and uh for the second time i'm really sorry oh. but anyway this barry for something feels wrong and until next time we'll keep you in the loop bye